guys, Cosby Down here, and finally, I'm going back to my dream destination again after the pandemic. This time, I'm exploring Osaka with my Joa, and I cannot wait to show you guys around. For this video, we'll take you with us on our Japan trip and share our travel essentials, itinerary accommodation, the best areas, and of course, many more tips to help you plan kapag turn mo na mag Japan. Ready ka na? Let's go! Touchdown, Osaka! We are now in Osaka and the current weather is 7 degrees Celsius. This is not 7. This is colder than 7. Okay, colder than 7 though. It's colder than 7 degrees. It's 6.30 p.m. and right now we're about to check in our Airbnb. So our Airbnb link is on the description below. It has the best location, affordable, and I like how minimalist their photos look like. Ayan siya guys. So we're already on the way to the Airbnb place. We're coming from gate 7 sa this station, Osaka something something. But basically, main station to ng Osaka. So anyway, our Airbnb is just how many minutes away long from the station? Yeah, just like 5 minutes walk lang. And it's very convenient kasi it's not just five minutes walk from the station, it's also a few minutes walk from Dotonburi, which is one of the most popular places here in Osaka. Kung gusto mo food trip, baba ka lang, lakad ka lang konti, andong ka na. So very convenient talaga. Yan talaga yung number one standard namin pagka nagbubuka kami ng place when traveling. Convenience. Okay, finally! We walked a total of around like five minutes only. I think the station is just right there. And we're here in our humble Airbnb. Excited for the room to ooh, 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 ooh. the reveal. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for this room actually. Ooh, so we have a lot of doors. <laughs> wow, we have the shoe box over here first. And the and I mean, there's a lot of doors for you. Oh, the bathroom! And their bathroom is very, very Japanese. This one is our... Oh, we have laundry! Finally, yes! They have laundry, babe! Oh, that's one of the reasons why I chose this. Yes! And this one for sure is the... Ooh, cutie! Very Japanese! So this is the toilet. This is the bathroom. This is the washing laundry area. And this is our bedroom! Oh my god! Yung amoy niya guys, ang ganda! Very homey! It feels very, very homey. I love this! So we have a king-size bed, a cutie patootie dining table in front of the TV. We have TV here. Ayan, oh guys, so cute! I love this! And if you would sleep and I watch TV... <laughs> and we have here a mini... a kitchenette! Oh, nice! Parang bago pa siya, guys. It feels like it's we're in Ikea, babe. No? Ay, ang cute lang! <laughs> we even have slippers because no shoes are allowed here. Tama nga naman. So, yeah. This ends our mini room tour. Guys, the Airbnb link is on the description below. So, yeah. And very, very convenient. This is what I love about the Airbnbs that we choose. We really want it very convenient. Dapat super duper short lang ang walkathon going to the main station. And dapat yung area na pagsistayan namin is a main area para mas madali kumain or maglibot-libot, etc. Oh, what? Hello, Miss Carl. Oh, there's another room. <gasps> Cute. There's another room here. Oh, there's a balcony. Hindi ko na mention, guys. We have a balcony here. Can you open? Whoa. And this is our view. Wow! Wow! Highway! 
<laughs> For your additional information, some few tips in where to stay here in Osaka. So for us, we stayed in the Tonburyo area, which is a prime location. But if you're looking into more options, I highly recommend staying either in these two areas. First is the Namba area, which is our area as well. It's a bigger area compared to the Dotonburi. Dotonburi kasi is part of Namba. Namba area is where the JR Namba station is, which is one of the main station of Osaka. Dotonburi, if you prefer a livelier food trip talaga, this area is perfect for you because Dotonburi is in this area. Second area is the Umeda area, which is where the Osaka station and Umeda station is. These two stations are the main top, as in top talaga, na station in Osaka. So, this means, dito talaga kayo lagi manggagaling if you're going to Kyoto, Nara, if you also want to be um, near Umeda Sky Building or yung HEP5 Ferris Wheel, Ito yung area na yan. But either way, it's just one train station away lang naman yung both areas. It's either you can take the subway or the JR line. So what we're doing right now guys is we are withdrawing for an ATM here in Namba Station. Since we prefer withdrawing rather than doing an exchange rate. Since we think it's cheaper, mas hindi lugi kaysa yung mag-exchange rate. Yesterday kasi guys, we went to an exchange rate machine and the currency conversion rate is 1.93 peso. So for here, it's 2 point, mas mataas siya, mas hindi lugi. So this is the station that is super near our Airbnb, Dipon Bashi. This is always our point of origin. It's a train station away from Namba Station, which is one of the main stations in Osaka. So for this part, guys, I'm going to be explaining to you the transportation system here in Japan. Medyo confusing siya. Maiiyak na ako. Ang hirap niya i -get. But what I can explain to you and what we usually do while commuting around is rely heavily on Google Maps. Google, Google Maps, Maps and there's a Japan travel app as well. So Google Maps and Japan Japan travel app. When do you know when to use Google Maps or this app? I use both because the Google Maps is not completely accurate and sometimes the Japan travel app gives a bit more information about the station number. So sometimes it's easier to know the station number you're going to rather than the station because the stations are very hard to pronounce. But if you know, if you know you're going to 14 or 16, it's a lot easier to keep track of which direction you're going. So the difference between in both of them they have the same results same routes that they will suggest to you but Japan travel app is more specific so for example it will tell you if you're going from case from K17 to K19 Oh, or for right. example, if you're going to 019 or 014. So right. it's easier to remember the numbers rather than the, the, the Shinin and Nishikuyo. So where do you see the 0, 014, P14? It's, it's next to all, all stations are numbered. So you would always see the number followed by the name of the station. Then once you know how to use the Google Maps and this app, just enter the destination that you're going to. So for example, you're going to Universal Studios, just type in Universal Studios. They will show you suggested routes. There are a lot of routes that you can do. So if you don't have any path, you have to purchase individual tickets through ticket machines inside the stations. Ayan. So, how do you do it? English first. Then ticket. Tickets. Then, then if you, uh, how many people? Two. Then, if you don't know the whatever line, station, the station number. number. So, this line, you will see this on Google Maps. It's either you base it on the color or the name itself. So, take note, subway line and JR line are both different. So, meaning, different ticket vending machines sila. So, if you are going to a subway muna, you can buy a ticket here. Then, if you're going to a JR line from a subway, doon ka na mismo sa JR station bumili ng JR line ticket. You have the M. That's, the, that's usually for like the metro subway. M is, ayan. M is the subway. Yes. Metro subway, I guess they call it. And then you have these ones, which is the trains. But it's under a different line, so we need to change the, the Osaka loop. So I think that's okay. JR. So this is another line again. Yes, and this, and all, this is the same. Ayan, this is the JR line, JR thing. So as Carl mentioned, we actually bought a few passes, Japan train passes, online from Kluk that would make our commuting way cheaper. This passes offers unlimited train rides. 
depending on kung ano yung sakop ng pass na yun. But unlimited siya. And some of them also offer unlimited entrance fees to top attractions. So first one that we bought is Osaka Amazing Pass. If you are traveling in Osaka, I really highly recommend you to get Osaka Amazing Pass. Again, don't miss buying this pass. It's really a must because it is very cheap. It's at 1,100 for one day, 1,500 two days. The difference is just the days, but yung sakop niya is unlimited train rides and unlimited entrance fees. 230 attractions. Alright? 40. 40? 40 attractions. Wow, 40 pala. Sorry. Okay, second pass that we bought is the JR West Kansai Pass. Covers the West Kansai area which is actually Kyoto area. Kyoto, blah, blah, blah. So if you are going to Kyoto, or if, if Kyoto, this part of Japan, you know, yung mga bamboo thing and the temple thing, if you're going to this area, that is Kyoto, this pass is be very perfect because it provides you free train from Osaka to Kyoto, JR Line yan and subway trains around Kyoto. So unlimited train rides din siya during your whole Osaka to Kyoto and Kyoto exploring around Kyoto. But don't forget when you get when you get to Kyoto station to avail all the passes right away because you can only redeem the passes in certain locations. So the easiest will be to do as soon as you get to Kyoto, redeem all your train tickets and passes. Hey guys, so for some tips and guidelines on how to get to Osaka City or Mismong the City from Kansai Airport. So as you can see guys, for us, we didn't really came from Kansai Airport because we flew from Manila to Nagoya, which is on a separate vlog. But for your information then guys, para alam nyo. So take note guys, in the airport, once you landed, then went to the arrivals area, connected na po ang train station doon. So punta lang kayo directly to the train station. You can already access the train going to Osaka. Away going to Osaka City from the airport has two options. First is the regular train. Second is the express train. Train. First option is the regular train, which is the Nankai Airport Express. It costs it cost 920 yen, something like that, and 45 minutes yung travel time. Second option, guys, is the Nankai Limited Express Rapid. So this is the express train. 38 minutes journey, and it costs 920 yen plus 510 seat fee. So if you want to book this, I suggest you pre-book it already online through Klook. Ayan, it's discounted pa yata. Difference between the regular train and the express train is first of course the cost. It's 510 more expensive. So that's around 200 something pesos. Then second is the travel time. This is a little bit slower than the express train. Nang a couple of minutes lang naman. Then third is the comfort of your seating. The journey is a little bit far. This one has more comfortable seating than the regular trade. So, Ayan! So, touchdown, Osaka. And nakapag-settle down na rin kami sa Airbnb. As mentioned earlier in this video, 5 minutes away lang kami sa prime tourist attraction here in Osaka, which is Dotonburi, the famous place where you can do food trip. So, ayan, naglalakad lang kami going to Dotonburi. Diba? Sobrang convenient lang to reach this place. And we are here! So, ganun lang siya kabilis, guys. From our accommodation to Dotonburi. Now that we, ha we are here in Dotonburi, guys, we are now gonna be trying a lot of food. I'm so excited! <laughs> this is the best food trip experience in Osaka. When you visit Osaka, make sure to stop by Dotonburi and don't miss the following. First stop, Gyoza, of course. Those are pan fried or steamed dumplings with different fillings. Love the thin, crisp layer and how freshly made it is. Next, the famous takoyaki. One of the most popular among street food lovers here in Osaka. Fresh talaga yung octopus pieces plus super syrup ng toppings and sauce. Next is the Kinryu Ramen. This is the veteran Osaka ramen chain. Just look for the dragon, guys. Sobrang sarap. You can tell that they use great quality ingredients. Woo! Okay, next. Cheese coin. You gotta try the sweet cheesy bread, guys. 
super thick and gooey ng cheese sa loob. See that cheese? Mmm, look at that ooey gooey goodness. Coming right up is the Taiki Sui San Sushi. If you're looking for a sushi that's affordable yet great quality, this is the spot. Their sushi is super fresh and tastes so good as in. Last but not the least, for dessert, Rikoru's Cheesecake. The softest, most jiggly, fresh, and fluffy cheesecake. This is actually Osaka's most beloved cheesecake. We had a takeout and brought it home. So we're having breakfast here in Family Mart. Tawa na ako ng bosses, first day pa lang. So usually guys, in the morning, on the go kami, kasi we always want to be the first one who's gonna arrive in the tourist attractions. So we don't really have the time to sit in a restaurant and eat breakfast. So what we usually do is just buy stuff from the convenience store. Actually, okay yung mga food nila dito eh. Pakita ko sa inyo. May mga food choices sila na parang restaurant level. So for example, this one is very cheap. 138 yen lang. What I ate is the spam, this one. Ayan, so may mga ganito. And it costs 204 yen. Very cheap. This one is 462 yen. 369 yen. Ayan, so marami pa yan guys. May mga ramen pa nga oh. This is 389 yen. Good morning! Ooh. Good morning, Osaka. Good morning, Osaka. And yes, sir. As you can see, that is Namba Station. Mapansin ko, guys, laging mga neutral colors yung mga sinusuot nila dito. Ako lang yata yung naka super bright red. See, everyone is wearing black. So we bought Osaka Amazing Pass from Klook and Jadis. Is it okay? From the voucher, we will just claim it here in this office to get the real pass. Alright, so we got our Oma Omaza Osaka Amazing Pass already. So we picked it up here in the shop. It costs this amount. So to explain guys, this Osaka Amazing Pass, basically an unlimited pass for a day or two, depende sa in avail nyo. So for example, if it's one day pass, you have unlimited access to metro stations, subway stations around Osaka and unlimited use of the buses. Aside from that, hindi lang sa unlimited use of trains and buses, it also has free access to several attractions right here. Ayan, so ang dami guys. That already includes the top most famous attractions here in Osaka like Osaka Castle, Umeda Building, etc. So now it's time to explore Osaka! Ayan! Let's go! For your reference guys, here is our itinerary for the day. Take note, mas marami pa kayong pwedeng puntahan compared to this table. But what we did is pumili na lang kami ng mga top attractions that we can visit in a day. This table shows the places to visit with regular entrance fees but take note if you have the Osaka Amazing Pass. Free na lang yan. Makikita nyo rin dyan ang nearest subway stations to the site. So for our first stop, Osaka Castle. This is the most popular landmark and definitely a must visit in Osaka, guys. I can do it again but further back. I actually have a little thing in my... Love, my feet has something black. So when I smell, it feels like bungit. Nakaka-amaze makita in person, especially the famous stone walls. Our regular entrance nito is 600 yen. Travel time from our Airbnb is just around 31 minutes. So from Osaka Castle, 11 minutes walking distance lang to Osaka Joe Gozabun Boat Pier. Which will take you around Osaka Castle. 20 minutes yung ride and super worth it because you'll see the view of the castle from a different perspective. Regular entrance fee is 1,500 yen. So next stop, but we're already here in Umeda! Sky building, ayan. This building is actually known for this one. Look at that structure. Open air siya and it gives an illusion na nakalutang ka talaga. Entrance fee is usually 1.5 yen, but again, free lang yan if you have the Osaka Amazing Pass. From the pier, from our last destination, Umeda Sky Building is just 43 minutes away, around like that. After that, we went to HEP 5. The most iconic symbol and main attraction is the Ferris Wheel. If you want to try the ride, it's 600 yen per person without the pass. Ang ganda ng view guys, you can see the overall view of Osaka City and take note, may pa speaker sila so pwede kayo party party <laughs> sa taas <laughs> alright next destination is what tower is this again? Sudenkaku we're not specifically in the tower yet 
since we passed through this Ebisu Gigashi. Ebisu Gigashi. Yeah, to get photo spot of the tower. As you can see, ayan no, diba? Perfect spot siya. Very Japanese vibe. Pumunta kami sa parang nearest street in front of the tower to get the shot, as you can see here. Sobrang ganda wow. niya, especially at night with all the lights on. On the fifth floor, there is an observatory with a view of Osaka, and just is in on the end without the pass. From the tower, you can actually take the gigantic tower slider. The ride only takes 10 seconds from the observation deck on the third floor. Good morning! It's a beautiful morning. Good morning, guys. It's 5 a.m. and we are already here in the train station. We're already in the train station this early because today is a very special day. We are going to Kyoto. So Kyoto is a different city from Osaka, and dito nyo makikita yung mga temple na red. Pa nakikita yung sa Instagram yun yun. At sa ka yung mga bamboo thing. Usually, guys, during like late morning, early afternoon, lagi nga pupuno yan ng mga turista. And ang hirap enjoy ng place, ang hirap mag take ng photos because maraming turista. Maliit lang yung place. Eh. That's why I'm so super early, para early din kami na matinggan. Kyoto is around an hour from here and 30 minutes from the main station. First step in enjoying Kyoto is this JR Pass because it already includes unlimited train rides to this line and that already covers yung travel from Osaka to Kyoto and traveling around Kyoto and Kyoto to Osaka and all are unlimited so I think we are getting the first ever trip this day so guys all the stations have their different time schedules so before you go to a station early early please google yung opening time ng station so we're now availing our JR pass from Luke and you guys the what ticket vending machine is in the main office that you could use in availing this QR code since you have to exchange it to a real ticket so as mentioned guys you can exchange your clock voucher to a real JR Pass ticket through these machines. We're currently here at Umeda Station or Osaka Station. Same lang yan, guys. And take note that these machines only open at 6 a.m. Madilang mag-exchange na ticket, just scan the QR code and your passport. So yes, never forget your passport, guys. So this is the ticket. So it's one-day unlimited train rides to JR West. We also have Hankyu Railway Voucher. This is in Kyoto. We also have Subway and Bus Tickets Unlimited in Kyoto. Then we also have the Keihan Railway in Katsai area. So this is also for Kyoto. So for your information guys, this is our itinerary for today. We will be hitting these destinations in just one day. Again, using the JR West Kansai Pass. And everything will be unlimited. So the first destination that we visited is the Fushimi Inari Shrine. This is actually one of the top tourist attractions here in Kyoto. Super worth it to see the Tori Gates in person and walk the trails here. Take note, sobrang aga namin umalis sa Kyoto and see how walang tao the place is. Next is we proceeded to Arashiyama, the iconic bamboo forest you always see online. And we're finally here. Arashiyama Bamboo Forest Guys, again, this is our My first time seeing this forest Not that crowded I've been here again for how many times? Fourth time na yata And ngayon ko lang nakita na ganito ko konti yung area Sobrang surreal niya in person Very breathtaking vibe Next and our last stop is the Hokkaji Temple Very beautiful temple The best time to take pictures is at sunset actually or if ayaw nyo ng tao like this better if unahin nyo to in the morning alright guys so are now on our day for on our Osaka trip for today's activity where are we going? Universal Studios Universal Studios I was asking Carl last night What's the best part so far for your Osaka trip? And he was like, I think tomorrow, which is today. Osaka, amazing. Ay, Osaka, amazing. The Universal Studios. 
So we're already making our way to Universal Studios. But first, again, we are passing by Lawson or like a convenience store. So near our Airbnb is Family Mart and Lawson. We usually get our breakfast there para mabilisan and mura. Then after breakfast, we will be heading to Universal Studios. So it's just 30 minutes away from our place. Babe! Alam mo, it's so hard to vlog because you're just not cooperating. Wait! It's still vlog. Mm, it's so hard. Like I'm just trying to cope up on you. You're walking so fast then I'm trying to walk so fast. Cope up on you and walk. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Universal Studios is just 30 minutes away from our accommodation. And take note guys, again, we already purchased our entrance online in advance through Clue. And discounted siya from this price to this price. Ayan, so nakakatipid. E, two bucks pa kami, so nakatipid kami ng ganitong price. Oh my god! Currently here in Universal Studios, Osaka, and of course, I'm gonna be taking you to our adventure here in... I bought the ticket na online on Klook. It's discounted by the way. And because of this, I don't have to line up on the ticket booth behind me. Diretso na tayo, sige. So let's go. Ayan, so nakapasok na tayo sa Universal Studios. This is actually one of the highlights of this trip. The child in me is super happy and fulfilled. Sobrang magical lang ng kililing. So yes, in the next seconds guys, I will be sharing the rides that we tried plus the ratings. Paso! The entry here in this area is limited, so what you're gonna do for to be able to, en to enter is secure a ayan, an area time entry ticket. Then you can already get that through yeah, we have, we have the official app. Okay, for 20 okay. Okay. Please come back for 20. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Wow. So now it is 12. 12 20. And the earliest available time is 4 20 p.m. So when you downloaded the app, you basically have to register your uh, pass, QR, pass code. QR code. Yeah. Scan the QR code. There's a scanner in the app itself. Yes. So you scan, then you enter scan your code, name. And then you enter your whatever your player name. Player name. Yeah. Yeah. So it's calls or calls. Yes. And then, then you, and then you select your names and then you select the available time. All right. So I think this will only work if you have a pre-bought pre ticket from Klook. Because otherwise, you won't get a QR ticket or a ticket until you get to the park. Okay. So it's really nice if you pre-book your ticket so that you can already so you can already register reserve on the application itself. If you didn't pre-book your tickets and you don't have the app, you can actually get it in the Central Park here in Universal Studios. Bye! We're already leaving our Airbnb. Parang ang bigat kasi na-attach na ako sa Airbnb. How was your stay here, babe, for the past days? Love it. Yeah? Yes, very convenient. Very convenient, no? Mm -hmm. That's the first thing that is really nice about this Airbnb. Also, also very, very comfortable in general. Yeah, actually, we really love our Airbnb here in Osaka. We really highly recommend it. It's very worth it. Ang ganda kasi from the very tiring tours that you do the whole day, you come home, heater on, higa ka sa kama. Kasi ang lambot ng kama then Then we always have a good night. As in talaga, ang lambot ng kama guys. Ang lambot din ng pillow. <laughs> And we love our uh, heaters, we love how ba heaters, bathtub, yeah, and it's fresh and it's spacious. Usually here in Japan or Osaka, the hotels and other Airbnbs are so small, but this one is very, very spacious, and we really love it. So yeah, let's go home. Bye bye. Okay, guys, last full day here in Osaka. 
and for today's activity, we will be heading to Naira. So guys, this might be a little bit confusing because our way going to Naira is a little bit different from the usual thing because we are using a different pass which is this one, a Kinetsu Rail Pass 5 Day Plus and this is highly recommended if you are hitting not just the Kansai area but Nagoya, Isashimi and Mi area and for us Later, we will be traveling to Nagoya. That's why today, we availed the pass. You might have a different route from Namba. But for us, we are just one train away from Nipponbashi, which is our origin station. And it will only take us how many hours? 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Ayan lang siya. So, ito yung origin station namin. We will just ride the Kintetsu line, then that's it. We're gonna be in Nara. Then from Nara, access the tourist attractions, then head to Tagoya already. Oh yeah, so we just arrived Nara Station. And we have our bags here. The first thing we do before we explore around is leave this to the lockers. This is actually what's nice about the train stations. Lagi silang may mga coin lockers like this. And there are big ayan, lockers that is perfect for big baggages. Ayan. Whoa. The cost is at 700. It should be coins. Don't worry if you don't have any change. May mga change machines there. And the duration of this one is one day. New day starts at 1 a.m. So it's 1 a.m. to 1 a.m. Now that we're here in Nara, we are gonna be exploring Nara. These are the places that we're gonna visit. Ayan. Good news, they're just all close with each other. Ayan, yeah. no? Just 15 it's, minutes. It's literally away. One, one straight road. This trip is actually very quick, guys, but we made sure to hit the areas we want to visit. As you can see, we didn't visit all the top recommended attractions in Nara because we just really want to see the deers. So, but for your reference, guys, here's a suggested itinerary. The best part is walking distance lang ang attractions from one another. As for us, we prefer to just visit Naira Park and some of the temples so, nearby. So from Kintetsu Naira Station, Naira Park is just 5 minutes away. The deers are super cute and friendly. Sobrang saya magtake ng photos with them. Entrance fee is free because pork lang talaga siya. But if you want to buy snacks for the deers para pansinin ka ng mga deers, you can do so for 200 yen. May mga small stalls outside Nara Park na nagbebenta ng mga ganyan. Princess. So heavy. I'm so tired. Ha, faster. There's an escalator, no? Es elevator. So we're now traveling to Nagoya, guys. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching this vlog. It's a quick travel guide in Osaka, Kyoto, and Nara. And we will be heading to Nagoya this time. So this is gonna be on another vlog. So stay tuned on the next vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Instagram, on Facebook. Follow my Shargao Corgis too. It's the Corgis that Shargao. Follow Carl, Kals. Konnichiwa! Arigato gozaipas! Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa is hello? Yes.